Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to extract a minimum, maximum and mean elevation raster information as a table in a vector dataset using RGIS. So now let's get started. So we're going to use a spatial analysis tool that is our zonal uh, statistics as a table, which helps us to extract the information from a raster as a fields in a vector dataset. So here in the table of contents section, you can able to visualize we have two different layers. One layer here represents our study area census and the second layer here represents our digital elevation model. And the first layer, it is our study area census, which, uh, which are the different town location in this uh, study region. So each of this, uh, the census data here in the green, which represents the different town. And suppose if you want to extract the minimum, maximum and mean elevation of this particular town, we're going to use this particular tool called the zonal statistics as a table. Now let me show you my study area census data here. We're going we're gonna to right click and click this option called open attribute table. So here you can able to visualize the different town information for this particular study area. And now let me close this. And now uh, let's say I wanted to extract some information about the environment that uh, that uh, they are in to the census uh, to the study area census as a field. So I want to know the average elevation and uh, average uh, slope value of the study area and some other information uh, that is uh, commonly uh, stored in the raster data set. So for that, we're going to use a spatial analysis tool. So we're going to navigate to this option called our toolbox. In that, we're going to click this spatial analysis tool and uh, navigate to this zonal. And in that, we're going to click this tool called zonal statistics as a table. Let me right click, have double click. So here, uh, this summarizes the value of the raster within the zones of another data set and reports the result to the table. So what is uh, it's gonna, it's going to do is, uh, if I provide the zone data, there is our census study, that is our study area census. And the zone uh, field will be our object ID. And the input value raster will be our dim data here. I'm going to drag it and I'm going to place it here. So what is, uh, it's going to do is, it's going to loop through all the features uh, in the study area census, the data I provided and uh, for every feature in there. So it's going to uh, run a set of statistics that I'm going to specify down here. So here, and uh, it will uh, write out those statistics as a field in, uh, in the attribute table. And, uh, and uh, it will attach the zone ID of this particular value here, that is object ID. And so I can, uh, then join the attribute table back into my uh, study area census data here. Now to save this, uh, to save the output uh, table, we're gonna navigate to my folder location. So here I have entered the name as st uh, census study area elevation and I'm gonna click save. So here in the statistics type, uh, I'm gonna do all the statistics uh, starting from minimum to sum. I'm gonna do all the statistics so now uh, let's run this tool. We're going to click OK. And uh, yes, we have our result here. Zonal statistic as the table. So we have our census study area elevation uh, table uh, table here. We're going to right click and open this. Let me open this. So here you can able to see our and here we have our area minimum and maximum range mean and standard deviation and sum. So now we're uh, going to join this table here. We're going to join the study area census. We're going to right click here and click this option called join and relate. In that, we're going to click this option called join. So it joins the data to this layer. So let me click this. So it selects our census study area elevation. And here, the choose the field in this layer that will join will be based on. So we're going to select uh, based on our object ID. And now here, we're going to choose, uh, choose the field in the table to uh, base the join on. So we're going to join our uh, based on this particular field called object ID here. So we're going to keep all the records. And now we're going to click OK. And now uh, we're going to click yes. So now uh, let me close this uh, table, the study uh, census study area elevation. We're going to open this study area census. So now here I'm going to open this attribute table for this uh, study area census. We can right click and click this option called open attribute table. So now here, uh, at the end of uh, this uh, particular table here, let me show you that. So you can able to uh, find the, all the statistics here. 
let me move on here so you can uh, see the different statistics area minimum maximum range mean standard deviation and sum so uh, now we have all statistics for all those features so all for all these features here so for example let me show you here let me minimize it so for example uh, to find the statistics of this particular uh, study area that is this particular town here so I'm gonna use my uh, select tool I'm gonna select this particular uh, town here so it gets highlighted here so the particular is name is Sparta city so here you can identify the statistics of this particular uh, city here the area the minimum elevation the maximum elevation and the mean elevation the range and the standard deviation and some of this particular uh, study area called that is uh, the town called Sparta city let me show you here we're going to select out this particular one here and from here the minimum elevation is around 130 and the maximum elevation is around 171 and also the some other information about this particular uh, town here and now let me uh, minimize it so uh, let me select my mouse here that is uh, I'm gonna zoom to this particular study area so the minimum and maximum elevation is, is 130 and 171 I'm gonna turn off this uh, shape file here so basically you can view here the minimum values will be here in this area and the maximum value will be observed in this portion of the study region let me turn this on here so now uh, I can have uh, any metrics uh, I want from uh, from raster as a value attached to my uh, features data and uh, last I want to mention some, something that uh, remember because this is the join now uh, this is a join and uh, it's not permanent and uh, if you want to make it permanent and suppose if you want to make it a permanent uh, join we can right click this and we can navigate to this option called data we're gonna click export data and choose your folder location where you could like to save your file here so here I'm gonna save it as a study area census uh, with elevation so I have mentioned as study area census with uh, elevation and uh, we clear the selection here and now we're gonna click save and click OK so in this way I will have the permanent set of information on the features and make sure that before you export your uh, census data you make sure that you clear the selection and export it so uh, in this video I have shown you how to extract the minimum maximum and mean elevation raster information as a table in vector data set using uh, zonal statistics as a table in RGIS so thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel and uh, give us a like.